You guys are probably all wondering what has been going on with the fire truck. It's been a while since I uploaded something about the fire truck. And now it's finally time to test the water on the truck. I've done a little bit of testing on camera. You can see those clips right now. And they worked okay, but the thing is, is that the truck just can't have a water tank that is inside. This is the water tank that was inside the front of the truck. And the reason why I can't have it is because of air. Uh, the water pump needs air to be able to pump out the water from the top. And basically this was not letting it get enough air because when the water is in here and filled to the top, the two valves that are inside are basically suffocated. They don't get any air and without that airflow, the pump can't suck through and get water out the top. So what I decided to do was remove the idea of an internal water tank, which yes is a little bit unfortunate because now the truck needs to be near a water source in order to pump water out. But it is actually more realistic because ladder trucks don't typically carry water uh, on them. Usually they do need to be pumped from a fire hydrant. So this is actually a little bit more realistic, although it is not my original plan, but this one does work. Also, one other update that you can see right now is I moved the pump to the front of the truck so it doesn't have to pull quite as much from the side and can build more momentum up and out the top of the ladder. Uh, it also could not fit back here because the mechanism for the ladder rotate was in the way so it could not uh, the truck could not close up all the way. This truck is now completely sealed up. All the screws are put in in the bottom. The battery just finished charging, that's what's beeping in the background. But I'm pretty sure that everything is good now and should not need to be opened up again. The cover is ready to go on. I sealed up these holes on the side so no water gets through and the cover does fit over here. A uh, couple little things that need to be done is I need to fix the front bumper. Uh, the bumper is not actually on right now. It's right here. I just need to put this back on either with some screws or maybe some hot glue, something to keep that on. And then in the rear, we've also got this engine compartment which needs to be sealed better. It's just held on with some hot glue, but it needs to look a little bit better than that. And that's because our engine, our motor is actually uh, bumped out a little bit. So. Uh, check out the episode where I do the driveline to see how I had to do that. A couple of other things I want to let you guys know about the truck that I've done since I was on here last. One thing is that the truck no longer has a separate battery powering the water pump. Now everything is on the main rechargeable nickel metal hydride battery the entire rest of the truck runs off of. Uh, so the only thing that is powered separately is the ladder motors. And this is a little bit better because if something were to malfunction um, inside with the servo mechanism that I set up that you guys can check out in the last video, is that now if something goes wrong, all I need to do is just flip the switch on the inside of the truck, which powers the whole truck, and the water pump will turn off. So if there's a leak or if uh, the switch gets stuck, uh, all I need to do is just turn it off right here and it stops. Uh, if I had not done this and it were still running on the 9 volt battery that it were hooked up to before, uh, basically what would happen is I would try turning this off and nothing would happen. Uh, the 9 volt battery, since it's separate from the rest of this, the water pump would still keep pumping if something went wrong and I'd have to go in and turn the pump off. Uh, autumn, you know, I'd have to open the truck up from underneath turn the pump off and that would just be a really big mess that could damage some of the electronics on the inside. So this is much safer and uh, it should be good. The only downside is that the lights cannot run at the same time as the water pump. And I know this seems kind of like something bad uh, and I may do something different in the future. Uh, like I may get a LiPo battery to charge it or to power it. I just think it's too much power voltage um, being drawn in order to run the pump because if you think about it we've got two motors being powered we've got the drive motor and the pump motor we've got a total of four servos uh, we've got two servos that control the ladder functions we've got the steering servo and then we've got the pump switch servo uh, so that's four servos and we've got a whole light kit going on at the same time the water pump running you won't be able to actually have the lights going at the same time i'm not really too worried about it uh, i think i can deal with that and i'm not I'm not disappointed about that at all. It still works regardless. And then the other thing I did uh, since last time is I put a nozzle on the front of the hose here. 
I know you guys want to stop hearing me talking and I uh, want to see it demonstrated. What I want to do is I want to plug in the battery and then we are going to go up to the deck and we are going to run water through it so that way you guys can see how well it works. Battery is plugged in and what we're going to do is we're going to turn the transmitter on first of course and now it comes on the truck. There we go. We're going to do a quick test to make sure that everything works. So let's start with ladder. Ladder works. All right, lights are working. Steering is working. Throttle is working. And now time for the pump. Pump is working. And you can see the lights turned off there. They will fire back up in just a moment once the module runs through its sequence. So you can see how that's gonna work with the water pump. It's okay, I'm not too worried about it like I said. We're gonna pop the cover on now. Now the cover is not going to go on and, and be screwed in. Obviously I wanna be able to have very quick access to this. So I'm just gonna kinda rest it on top for the time being. All right, so I'm outside on the deck now. You can see we're gonna be shooting the water off the balcony. What I've done here is I've put the truck on a box. Uh, and the reason I did that is because it's gonna kind of simulate the fact that the truck is going to be higher than the water source. Uh, Cause when we're actually going to be making videos with this truck and putting out a fire or something like that, uh, the, the water tank is going to be buried in the ground uh, to kind of be like a real fire hydrant. I'm gonna take this you can see this is our tank of water that we're going to be using. I'm going to put it down here and drag the truck over. And this is how we're going to be doing this, okay? So we're going to be taking um, basically the hose, which is going to be our fire hydrant hose. It's going to be sunken into the tank and it's going to be presumably drawn up through the water system in the truck and out the top. Truck is on. All right, we should be good. We're gonna aim, I'm gonna try and aim the water. Here is the water hooked up. So here we go, we're going to power up the pump. I'm using the switch on the transmitter. And here we go, this is the first on-camera demonstration of the water pump. This is the constant battle when you're building custom custom RCs and anything that's custom built is when you go to test it and it doesn't work, you have to figure out what the problem is. And uh, I did really test this truck before I, I made a video on it because I wanted to make sure it was gonna work. And now it appears it doesn't. It appears there's some trapped air somewhere or maybe a loose uh, water pipe connection. So I'm just gonna kinda really give you guys this transparent moment and uh, I gotta open this thing back up and, and take a look at what's going on because something's not right. Uh, we do not have nearly as much water pressure as there should be and it appears that there's some trapped air somewhere in the truck. So I'm just opening it up right now and we're gonna see what can, what can be done. So I'm just tightening up some of the connections but you guys can see here inside the truck everything does appear to be okay. I think it was just some air that was trapped inside the, the water system. I want to go ahead and show you though that I also upgraded the system for the switch. What I did was I put them inside a box and what this actually is is one of the end pieces to uh, what you would use to hold up your blinds like in a window uh, and it actually fits both the servo and the switch perfectly. So I'm going to keep this in there because that will keep the switch from getting in front of the servo and they should be able to cooperate uh, properly. I'm going to try and close the truck up again and we are going to try and test it once more and hopefully it works this time. So what I decided to do now is keep the truck open to demonstrate. Here we go. And there it is.
Well, there it is, you guys. The fire truck works. It pumped out water. I think what happened in the beginning is you can see the air is escaping down back down the tube right now. So basically what happened is that the air just got caught and uh, wasn't allowing water to run through because now if I turn on the pump, you can see it's going to pump out water again. Just like so. It's really fantastic. So that demonstrates the water pump for you guys. I know a lot of you were asking for it. The truck looks great. I just have the cover off, but it's right there. So when uh, the truck is running in other videos, it will have that cover on. The water stream is actually very powerful and it does stream quite far. Uh, I may tighten up the hole on the brass nozzle a little bit to get a little bit of a stronger stream, but I'm very pleased with how it comes out right now. So there you have it folks, the fire truck is done. It is time to finally put out some fires. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like. Thanks everyone for watching. Thanks for supporting the channel. We successfully built a custom functioning fire truck. I'll see you guys next time on the RC Genius.